can't believe it. I'm disgusted, and uh, I think I think our work here is done. Somebody had the nerve to dislike two of uh, my YouTube videos, and just to think, you know, the serious work we put into it to put to get all these incredibly informative videos. This is a place of positivity. It's Brian Shaw. I know it is. If it's you, Brian Shaw, coming after you. Because uh, these videos that I'm doing are about the real big men lifting real heavy things. That's right. Get a strong crotch. What's up, everybody? So just recently, I got a question asking about mobility. So today, I'm going to focus on mobility first and then get into my workout. Hip mobility especially. Hips are one of the most important joints to have mobile and accessible and stable. Uh, they're very useful in squats, deadlifts, yoke, farmers, uh, tire flips, stones, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, and just everything else far in between. So before working mobility, I like to warm up. Sometimes I'll do those clams that I showed you in that warm up video. Or sometimes if I'm bored of those clams and hip bridges, I'll do something called over-unders. And for this, essentially, I like to imagine I'm a ninja and I'm sneaking into a bank. It's got lasers. I first step over some lasers, then I squat down, I reach as far as I can, I'm trying to get under a laser, nice and deep. Back here, yep, Catherine Zeta-Jones style, everybody. Just like in the movie The Rock. Is that the movie? I think that's the movie. And stepping over, like so. And then I repeat that seven times over. All right, so now, stretching the glutes. Very simple, sometimes I like to do the standing if I'm a little bit more energetic or laying on the ground if uh, I'm lazy. There's two variants that are very important. One, you push your knee away as you, with your elbow as you pull your torso into your foot. Try to arch your back as much as possible. You're gonna get a deeper stretch and more out of your stretch if you lock up your back, hinging at the hips rather than just rounding and collapsing in. So arch your back, hinging at the hips, pushing your elbow into your knee so your knee's pushed away from you and then you pull yourself into your foot. The other version is where I pull my knee into my opposite shoulder. Now this will hit mostly the gluteus maximus. I think so. And this one again, you're gonna to wanna to try to arch it back and pull yourself in like so. I'm gonna hit 30 seconds to 60 seconds after a workout, but before your workout, if you were trying to do mobility before, do something called PNF stretching, proprioceptive neuromuscular facilitation, which is basically where I stretch for 10 seconds and then I flex that muscle that's being stretched as hard as possible for another 10 seconds while forcing myself in. So right now I'm flexing my glutes, trying to push my leg away with my glute while I'm forcing myself into the stretch. This activates the muscle as much as it also loosens up the muscle. That's better for before you work out. Uh, hamstring stretches. Uh, for these, I like to make sure my back is flexed. You do not want to reach for your toes with a rounded back. Uh, you're going to get more out of your stretch if you are basically slightly arch your back and hinge about the hips with your feet about shoulder width apart. Just stretch in towards your feet. If you're doing the P and F uh, stretching before your workout, you're going to stretch for 10 seconds. Grab a hold of your legs. You're going to try to flex your hamstrings to come back up while pulling within with your arms as hard as you possibly can, flexing your hamstrings and forcing that stretch deeper for another 10 seconds. Your goal is to, like in terms of hamstring flexibility, is to be able to get your back parallel with the floor. Once parallel or as deep as you can after 10 seconds, grab those hamstrings, flexing your hamstrings, pull yourself deeper in with your arms, another 10 seconds. One of the most important ones, hip flexors. I like to assume kind of like a lunge or a split jerk with uh, my front foot angled inwards a little bit, my back foot angled inwards as well, with your uh, pelvis tilted like so. That's a posterior pelvic tilt. Once you feel the hip stretch, drop your knees straight down, getting that stretch right across here until you reach the floor, then hold. 10 second deep stretch, 10 second flex and stretch, unless it's after a workout, then 60 to 90 seconds, just a deep stretch. Lastly, I think this is one of the most valuable stretches, just a squat stretch. I'm gonna assume my squat width, about elbow width apart, with your fists like so, your toes lined up with your elbows, 
I'm gonna basically put my arms between my knees. I typically like to do this with a mirror to my side so I can watch my back. Because a lot of people have a tendency to do this during the squat stretch. Again, you wanna just hinge about your uh, hips, keeping your back neutral. Arms sliding between your knees like rails, pushing your knees out. You're gonna feel a stretch in your adductors that is between your thighs. You're gonna grab your toes and just keep pushing your knees out. From here, once you get 30 seconds or so in deep squat stretch, push, rock forward. So that way your heels slightly come up off the floor. And now you're basically gonna try to crush while you keep your knees forward. So I'm trying to push my heels down as hard as it possibly can until I feel a nice tension in my ankles. And then I hold that for another 30 seconds or so and come up out of it. All right. So those are my hip mobility tips. There's obviously more than that, but those are the basic ones that I do routinely that really help me with my squats and all those other movements that we, I, I explained in the beginning. Now, on a squatting for me. Grow puppy, grow puppy, grow puppy, grow. What I'm doing here is just mobilizing my shoulder before I squat. My left uh, shoulder and pec have been a little tighter. So basically I'm just making sure that I have no pressure in my elbow and that as I'm doing this, my wrist isn't loosening because when my wrist gives like this, all that pressure goes to my elbow. So I'm shooting my wrist, putting the bar nice and low on my traps or rear delts, and then I'm trying to push my left shoulder through. This will just help me set the bar better on my back without feeling pain in my elbows. My goal is five, but I'm going to be pretty intuitive with it. If I feel like my power is shutting down or my knees start bothering me, I'll stop right away. Either way, I sense a deload coming on. Next week will be probably a partial deload. <laughs> So uh, I think I'll actually just stop it there because I can definitely feel that um, the body's not as reactive as I'd like it to be. For my deload week next week, I think I'll hit frequency, but only like triples with this weight. So I keep it fresh and uh, in practice, but my focus is also gonna start switching much more over to deadlift now that I've gotten my rehab and uh, raw lifting out of the way. So uh, good stuff to come. That's what I'm saying, Jack. I miss oranges. Reebok has nothing to do only about the CrossFit other than... God, I miss oranges. Hey, Martinez, can you give me the drill and the drywall screws? Nah, dude, I'm way too tired for that. <laughs> Let's go, Martinez! Come on, baby, let's go! Come on, 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 let's go! Just gonna hit some medium weights now after I just did my flush work with the bar. Five to seven reps with this, no need to do higher reps. So um, we're at weight. All those warm ups are done. I gotta beat last week's repetition count. I have it all written down. Last week I got six reps. Gotta beat it. Come on, Marquise. 
Can we change the music? Two more, let's go! One more, come on! Oh! Press! Got overhead press out of the way. Just one set, moving on to pull-ups. Now pull-ups are something I love to use and I always incorporate them in my workouts. Pretty seriously, unless it's like right before a contest. I really feel they help pull the back together, decompress the spine, and increase the range of motion in the shoulders if done right. They're incredibly valuable, even for overhead pressing. <laughs> How many was 18, that? a little bit of a kick at the end, but I'll take it. What's in your nose? Is that a nose ring? That's my new nose ring. You can see it gold, pure gold. I'm a dung beetle, guys. Dung beetle power! Dung beetle! So, what is that? That's a Saxon bar. So I'm gonna do a warm up set with these uh, sister dips. I'm gonna try to and test out if I can do dips today if my programming has succeeded or not in getting my dip strength back. Told you, all, all it's the star here. Strong man doesn't matter anymore. It's all about grip. Set up a dip here. Oh, appreciate that. Thank you. I can sit on, I can sit on this log over here. <laughs> I'm an old man, I need to sit. 55 on the Saxon bar. Now with a better grip. Oh, you know how I asked you to move the seat, no, so I could do dips here. Hey, <laughs> no, no, no respect whatsoever. <laughs> you, you're doing good dips, and I'm doing world record uh, Saxon bar lifts. Who's the most, most important? Now for a wee whole year, I have not been able to do those. Uh, just for a, a month of stretching my shoulders, month of stretching my wrists, and uh, about eighty percent of my elbow pain is gone. So now I can do dips again. Yeah, that feels good. Take a moment, Martins. Take a moment. Oh, get out of the Martins. way, Martins! Get out of the way, Martins. Oh, it's about to lift. Yeah! Yeah! What was that? That was 255. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it! Get it. Yeah. Five pounds of the Okay, with all the YouTube money we're gonna make, what kind of car are you gonna get next? I'm gonna get with all of the money, I'm gonna get a nice steering wheel cover from Honda. I'm gonna raise my Honda. I'm gonna get 20 inch tires and wheels. 2002 Toyota Tacoma. I am gonna get a trailer for my Honda. Um, all right, so you guys saw my pressing, my pull-ups. Like and subscribe and, and, and leave a comment below. And uh, if you guys want to see something uh, specific from me in my videos, I'll consider it and uh, just might throw it in. All right, let's go, Morgan! Oh, f Mar oh my God!